Hey everyone, in this new stitch video, I'm going to show you how to do the ridge stitch. The ridge stitch uses pretty much the same stitches that um, we had recently seen in another video, the blanket rib stitch, but by changing up the order in which the stitches are done, you get this completely different looking effect than the, the blanket rib stitch. I've provided a link to the blanket rib stitch right here if you're interested in that one as well as at the end of the video. But with the ridge stitch, it's called ridge stitch because it provides these nice little ridges that stand out over a background of um, just stock in its stitch. And I've done this in multiple colors here, this, this dish towel, um, that was my project, but that was mostly just to use up some leftover cotton yarn that I had. You can do this just with one color or with multiple colors. And I've provided um, the pattern in the in the description field for the this ridge stitch itself as well as for this dish towel um, and the, the rows that you need to change up the colors on. So all that's provided in the description field. Let me show you how the stitch is done. Now you do need to do the stitch on an even number of stitches. So I've cast on here just about um, two, four, six, eight, ten stitches. The first row, it is a four row repeat. So the first row is just knit all the way across. So I'm just going to knit these stitches. And then you turn your work. The second row is just a knit two together or a K2 tog all the way across. So you knit two stitches together, insert your needle through the front loops of both stitches and knit them together. So you've decreased from two stitch down to one stitch, drop both stitches off. I have a slower demonstration of knit two together that I've provided a link for in the description field. And that's it, you're gonna knit two together. So at this point, at the end of row two, you have decreased your stitches by by or half your stitches okay so if i only have five stitches now now i'm going to bring the stitches back by doing a kfb or a knit front back in each stitch so to do a kfb you insert into the stitch as if to knit knit it but don't drop the stitch off instead take that right needle again and insert it into the back of that left stitch or of the the of that same stitch and knit. So we've made two stitches out of this one stitch and now you can drop that stitch off. So you're going to do KFB all the way through. So insert, knit, knit into the back loop again and then drop. And then the last row, row four, is just a purl all the way across. So rows one and three are the, um, rows one and three, I think, are the right side rows. And rows, hold on, let me, let me see if I'm seeing that right. Yes. Rows one and three are the right side rows and rows um, two and four are the wrong side rows. And you can see that the ridge is forming right here. So you're just gonna keep repeating these four rows for the ridge stitch pattern. Now, if you want to change up the colors of the ridges and have the ridges appear in a, in a different color, like in this sample here, then you need to use the, the different color when you do the first row and the second row. When you're repeating it and doing the first row, the knit row and the knit two together row, that's when you'll use this, the new color and then um, revert back to the, the background color. So you can certainly do it that way and change up the colors to get different colors in the, in the rib stitch. So give this one a try and let me know how you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please subscribe and I will see you again on another new stitch video. Thanks for watching.